Hi everyone, this is the video for Unit 2. Um, and in this unit, you're going to start reflecting on your interests and abilities in a way that will hopefully lead into um, our forthcoming work on really identifying potential career paths. Um, so what I had you do um, in the first unit last week was really to think about where you are now in terms of um, what you are doing and will have done in the course of doing a BA, what kinds of skills you've accrued, etc. Um, and next week, we're going to move into a much more specific look at the kinds of specific careers you might be shooting for. Um, so if last week was sort of a, like, where am I now snapshot, what we'll do next week is think down the line. Where would I like to be in 10 or 15 years? What's that sort of career goal, or at least a provisional career goal, goal right? You, you don't necessarily know where, you, where you'll end up, but something that works as a sort of device for figuring that out. Um, and then we'll start planning how you get to that goal, right? What do you need to have done within the next three, five, seven, ten years to be in a position to achieve that? So what we're doing in Unit 2 is sort of the linchpin between those two. Um, and what we're going to be doing is really reflecting on um, sort of uh, who you are, um, which is, sounds a little vague. Um, but uh, what I mean is who you are in terms of um, really what you want out of life, how you work uh, optimally. Um, where your sort of um, abilities lie, and they probably lie in all kinds of places, right? Which I think for many of us, that's one of the challenges of figuring it out. It's like, well, I like a lot of different things, um, and I'm good at, you know, sort of several different things. So, so how do I know which one is the right one? So the exercises we'll be engaging in for Unit 2 are meant to help you reflect on out of that universe of things that you're interested in and that you're good at, um, you know, are there any ways you can sort of figure out something that really feels like it suits you best of all? Okay, so you're going to be reading a couple of chapters from the book by Sullivan. Um, and Sullivan is not an academic. He's more of a, a sort of a career planning, career development person. Um, but I think these exercises are useful uh, for anyone. Um, so you're going to be reading chapters six and eight, um, and what I've asked you to do is to choose, I'd like you to read both of those, they're very brief chapters. Um, I'd like you to choose either chapter six or chapter eight, and do the exercises in whichever of those chapters you choose. So chapter six is an exercise about writing your life history um, from the vantage of um, a future you, okay? Um, so sort of reflecting back on, you know, at a point in your later life, what would you like to have done, right? What would you like to have accomplished? Um, and again, it's a fiction, right? It's, it's, it's a device, but I think it can be um, quite useful to think about, you know, when all is said and done, um, do I have a sense of what I would like to have accomplished or where I'd like to be in my life? Um, again, the idea being, if you think to that point, then you can sort of um, work on figuring out all the steps you would need to take to get from here to there. Okay, so that's the chapter six one. If you um, choose to go with chapter eight, there's a couple of brief exercises you'll do. Um, one is um, figuring out your role in a relay race. And again, when you read the chapter, you'll know what he's talking about. Or um, deciding whether you're um, a box jumper or a box stepper. Again, read the chapter and you'll, you'll see what he means. Um, Again, these are, are just devices for getting you to sort of reflect on um, what would suit you as a career. Um, in my estimation, choosing a career is in part about things like the subject or topic of the work, but it's also about things like, you know, what's your personality like? Um, do you like to work alone or in groups? Um, do you like to do a lot of technical behind the scenes stuff? Or are you um, somebody who wants to be leading? Are you the vision person or are you the person who wants to sort of make sure everything is done properly to realize the vision? All of these different things, um, again, are just um, elements of any career that it's worthwhile to start reflecting on now. Um, so that's gonna be our primary goal for this unit is for you to read the Sullivan, um, choose either chapter six or chapter eight, 
And what I've asked you to do for the assignment is to write up your response to whichever of those you choose. And then also reflect on what you think uh, your completion of that exercise tells you about, again, potential career paths um, and directions for the future. We're, we're sort of in the initial stages of figuring out what we already know, what we need to know, um, and how we can um, put those into making some decisions for the future. So I look forward, of course, to seeing what you have to say in these initial sort of reflective exercises. Um, and we'll then um, sort of turn up the heat on the process in Unit 3 when we really get into researching specific careers and the requirements um, that attach to them uh, so we can start charting a more specific course for each of you. As always, if you have any questions, please get in touch, um, and we'll talk again soon. Bye.